What's up guys, Nutty New here. Just wanna do a quick short vlog, hopefully it's not too long. But I just wanna do a quick uh, update on my Toyota pickup. So if you guys knew my wheel bearing went out, I got that, the driver's side replaced yesterday. So basically what I did was I did new bearings, uh, new axle seals from Marlin Crawler, and also the spindle went bad. So I got a new spindle from tr um, Trail Gear Chrome Leaf Spindle. So it has new spindles, also got new rotors, new brake pads and new calipers so i got that done yesterday and then i teared down the passenger size yesterday got that clean up got that clean out got that clean i got that clean last night and now i'm going to go ahead and get that installed so i'm doing the same thing on the passenger side new axle seals new everything the spindle was kind of in a rough condition so i i just went and bought a new brand new spindle another chromely spindle so it's getting so the basic basically the whole axle is going to be fully fully built with the new rotors full all out pretty excited about it i'm gonna go and get that installed right now my hands gonna be really greasy because it's a messy job so i'll try to vlog as much as i can if i don't vlog any this video might end here but if not i'll try to just do some time lapse of my installation and maybe do like a little quick walk through the install but this is not in this is not a how-to video so i just want to show you guys what i'm doing and uh keep you guys updated on the rig brand new rotors new trillion bearings I had to get these locally because um the marlin crawler kit doesn't come with the right size i have the updated uh, 25 mil pins so I had to get bigger ones this is the new chromely uh, spindle <laughs> new spindle new bushing clean up the knuckle head really nice and clean long fill axle cleaned out greased up and then all the small parts right here <coughs> got my grease make sure you get molly grease guys molly grease for your CVs and then I have all the other stuff the, uh, the felt the gasket and the main thing the axle seal which is what we're doing the actual seal is still really good it's not leaking oil but i might as well just get a new one also got some new tie rod you guys can see one of my tie rod end right here the boot is ripped so i'm just gonna swap it out swap it out and then if it's doable i might just repair this one and use that as a spear i'm gonna have to clean up this guy for a second it was kind of dirty so i got some uh a little sand block i'm gonna sand down some of these rust put some degreaser get some brake cleaner and clean it up real good and then we'll pop out the axle seal and uh start the install should be really easy this passenger size is usually a bit more easier more faster so all right guys a couple hours later we are complete with the front end rebuild driver side passenger side fully rebuild it all new rotors, new brake pads, new tie rods, at least one new tie rod. Just gotta go for a test drive. Just got done putting differential oil. I put some really cheap 80-90 differential oil. I'm gonna let it flush for about 100 miles, drain it, and then I'll put some good stuff in there later on. Maybe this spring. I'm excited. I'm gonna take it to the car wash real quick. Finish the build. Got everything done, did a full inspection. Now I drove out to Mountain View. Drives really good so far, so far at least, so far. Um, we're gonna give it a little quick car wash because it hasn't been washed since Jim Creek or since I broke down. So a lot of the frame and stuff like that's really dirty. <coughs> and I hate having a dirty chassis, so I'm just gonna spray all this off, wash it down a little bit. Ugh. Loving it, loving it, this runs good. Look at that, it's been perked for almost a week and uh, it's already causing rust. Beliga Point for a nice quick short test ride slash cruise whatever you want to call I 
recently just got the front axle overhaul done yesterday. So I just had to put some miles into it, make sure everything works good. It's a really beautiful day on the sewer highway here. This is Potter Marsh Valley. They call it Pat Potter Valley Road to all these homes up on the mountains. And then uh, Beluga Point here is roughly about another five, six miles away. We should get there shortly. It's really, really beautiful out here on the highway. Nice and pretty. Roads are dry. There's a slight misty fog out here, so it gives a little nice haze. This is the sewer highway winter version. Not so pretty with all the green leaves. Kind of brown and dull and gravy. But to me, it's still a really, really beautiful drive out here. I always love it. Really relaxing and enjoyable. We are currently at Beluga Point. A very, very popular pullout point on the sewer highway. Right behind me. It's a really nice day and the reason why I say it's a nice day because usually this place is always windy and today is no wind. There's no wind at all. You can tell by the audio because it sounds good. So, wow, it is really gorgeous out here. We got some photographers. This is a good spot for photographers. People do a lot of session out here. That's what these couples are doing. Maybe they're just out for a walk. Man, this is the, this is the most beautiful seen i've ever seen the winter this is the most beautiful beluga point has ever been a winter the uh, pickup runs really good <laughs> i feel like it runs smoother now of course it has new bearings so that makes a big difference it just feels really faster in general so there's a little pit right here there's another pull out right here this pull out has those big old rock no leaks make sure um making sure there's no leaks so i replaced this tie rod <coughs> This tie rod, the boot was ripped, so I swapped out that tie rod. <laughs> and then probably in the summertime, I'll go ahead and swap out the other three. Two more on this side, and the far back one there. <laughs> the other, the tie, rod, the tie rod that was here before, the boot was ripped, and also when you move the actual, um, the rod itself, it was really loose. So that needed to be replaced. Other than that, it runs really good. I put some <coughs> typical, I put some really cheap differential oil. So after maybe spring, I'll go ahead and drain it and put something a little bit more better. We're gonna do a quick crawl on that piece of rock. Full wheel drive, low, low. We're gonna flip on the lockers, front lockers. And uh, we're gonna put it in gear and no gas. Just gonna let it crawl. Wow. One thing that I'm really impressed about this truck is that it's really, really flexible, guys. Like, look at the way it's flexing, and both of the rear tire are still planted. So my 93 toyota pickup when i was when i was flexing around like this this tire will be lifted already but on this truck here it's really flexible you can see 38s fits right in there <coughs> if i was to go with 40s i probably gotta do a little bit more trimming but um it's flex really good i'm really i'm really loving it <coughs> one thing i'm kind of aware is that when you're when i'm at full flex let me know if this is normal guys when I'm at full flex my tie rods are touching the leaves just on one end so let me know if that's normal I'll probably have to take some photos of that but yeah that's it right there full flex it went up really fast so here's what we'll do we'll put it in low low and then we'll let the vehicle just crawl so I'm choosing my line right between this rock here and right here so it's gonna crawl right there so low low gear two four wheel four wheel and put in first gear <coughs> the hell 
isn't bad at all. It will make it as long as I uh, keep my steering composer right. <coughs> Turn the wheels just a little bit. We want to slide right in here. <coughs> that is crazy. All right, we're gonna slide right in here. Let me slide it in there first. Okay, it's going in. I'm standing on the sliders just to kind of guide it up. And once it's up, I'll... Uh... There you go, guys. Oh, oh, oh. That rear tire. <coughs> wow, there it goes. Just slowly crawled it. No biggie. 